Hey, what's going on YouTube? Ida Bytes Help here. Today in this video, we're going to be talking about iOS 7.1. Now, Apple has just recently released a software update. And before we begin to take a look around the operating system itself, I just wanted to quickly warn jailbreakers. Now, there is no jailbreak currently for iOS 7.1, so you must stay away if you want to keep your jailbreak on your current iOS device. Now, make sure you subscribe to this channel for future update videos on jailbreak and jailbreak video tutorials as well. But for now, please, jailbreakers, uh, stay away. Now, I just wanted to give you guys that quick update now let's talk about the iOS 7.1 let's see what Apple has to offer on this new software update all right so the first thing I wanted to talk to you guys about was CarPlay now CarPlay is a brand new feature available for the automobile industry which pretty much is the iOS experience and design for the automobile here in 2014 there's tons of automobiles manufacturers that are jumping on board so if you have a 2014 capable of CarPlay your device will now be supported easily set up now it does support the phone music maps message and other third-party audio applications that you can use with also the touchscreen capabilities if your manufacturer uh, vehicle manufacturer does support it so that's a brand new feature that I can't physically demonstrate here in this video but it's a brand new feature that came along here with iOS 7.1 7.1 also offers new features here for Siri. Now Siri offers more natural sounding voices uh, for female and male voices for Mandarin, Chinese, UK English, Australian English, and also Japanese. Now also a new feature for Siri as well in iOS 7.1 is if you hold down the home button, you can talk to Siri and then release for, for Siri to go ahead and look for the results. Now before you can just hold the home button and wait for Siri to give you a reply, but now you can just hold the home button and when you release it, Siri goes and search. Let's go ahead and try that here real quick. What's the weather in Chicago? So as I release the home button, Siri goes, Siri goes directly to search there. Now back back in iOS 7.0, you had to tap on Siri and then wait for her to realize that you uh, finished your sentence or what you were saying for her to go ahead and search. But now in iOS 7.1, you can just hold down the home button and then release to get your results. So that is pretty much some of the new enhancements here for iOS 7.1 in terms of Siri. Settings application, if we go to the general section here, accessibilities, the bold text option now includes the keyboard. The keyboard now uh, offers the bold text. As you can see there, I have it switched on, so the letters just look bolder instead of uh, thinner like they normally do here in iOS 7. Also under the accessibilities tab here, the reduced motion now offers reduced motion not only for the springboard but also for weather messages and also the multitasking UI elements. Now here you can see the animation uh, as you can see, if I uh, yeah, go ahead and switch on reduce motion, the animation completely changes. As you can see there, going back through through pages here, uh, and also UI elements, the reduce motion works really nice. A lot of people had problems with the motion of iOS 7. This will reduce the motion on the springboard, multitasking, and other apps included here for iOS 7.1 iTunes Radio also received an update. Now you can basically create music stations based on your artist or favorite songs, which you wasn't capable of doing before. Now you can just simply uh, purchase albums with one click. Just purchase the entire albums as well here in iTunes Radio. Now also Apple introduced if you're a iTunes Match subscriber on your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch, you can enjoy ad-free listening here in iTunes Radio as well. So that's just some minor updates here for iTunes Radio, but really good updates here about coming by Apple for iTunes radio now an iOS 7.1 also brings enhancements to touch ID and makes touch ID to recognize faster here for the iPhone 5s and it also offers the option to uh, enable HDR on your camera application for the iPhone 5s as well you can go ahead and enable it natively if you wish to do so here in iOS 7.1 now for iPhone 4 users I got great news it also makes iPhone 4 users uh, the iOS experience much much faster a lot smoother and less crashes so that's very good that Apple is still thinking about the older devices better improvement and performance here for the older devices such as the iPhone 4 as well now if you update to iOS 7.1 you will also notice the UI elements here such as the icons got a flatter more smoother look to them as well now uh, developers are also uh, found files within the operating system that indicate brand new iPads coming here with support with iOS 7.1 that's a little tidbit here that we found out here uh, before of the filming of this video now also iOS 7.1 it is available as right now to the public again jailbreakers please stay away I hope you guys enjoy this quick little rundown of what's new with Apple's new operating system iOS 7.1 if you enjoy this video please feel free to thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more updates don't forget to follow me on Facebook Twitter and Google Plus and don't forget to visit of course idevicehelpus.blogspot.com for the latest information on your iOS device it's been iDevice and I will catch you guys on the next one peace